Ask Glaston, episode 11, Western from Canada. What are the main factors that can lead to breakage of thick glass in a convectional radiation furnace? The breakage of thick glass is caused by the heat transfer, too much heat transfer in the beginning of the heating. This is caused by the convection, which is too high, or using too high heating power in the beginning of the heating cycle. And both of these or either one causes the thermal shock which breaks the glass. Western from Canada. What is the difference between heat strength and tempered glass? Why would I order a heat strength instead of tempered glass or vice versa? The main difference in heat strength and tempered glass is how it breaks. So tempered glass, when it's broken, it breaks into very small pieces. Whereas the heat strengthened glass, when it's broken, it breaks into larger pieces and doesn't create any islands, broken islands in, in, in the glass. Where it comes from? It comes from uh, the tension level inside the glass. So if we are tempering uh, or heat strengthening glass, the difference is uh, the compression level that we create to the glass. So if we think of where the heat strength and tempered glass then can be used, well, tempered glass is used always when the norms are saying so. So if there is a safety reason for using tempered glass, then of course we need to use tempered glass. Uh, heat strength and glass, instead of normal float glass, should be used in the places where safety aspect is not needed, but there might be thermal load that the glass is exposed to. So if there is temperature difference that the glass might be exposed to, heat strengthening will then create, the, create enough strength to the glass that it will bear that thermal load. Also, the thermal uh, heat strengthened glass will then uh, when it's broken in the installation, it will stay on the places, will stay on the frame, whereas the tempered glass will shatter down when it's broken. 